Talia and I got to know each other through the DC Arts and Humanities Education Collaborative. And um, I went and observed her doing professional development and realized that we were both approaching the Civil War in very different ways in terms of working with teachers and that they were really complementary. We met during one of our professional development workshops, um, met with Sarah, and we realized that we could do a lot more for teachers if we partnered together. Because previously we had just been doing kind of a one shot come visit us for two hours and learn about the Civil War and that was it. But we realized if we did it together we can create a much richer program where teachers can actually look at the Civil War from different viewpoints. So for example if you get the Lincoln viewpoint from Fords, we kind of represent since we were connected to Robert E. Lee and our inhabitant at Tudor Place was a Southern sympathizer and we also had both enslaved and free African Americans living at the site. So we present that um, viewpoint and then we brought in Frederick Douglass um, to bring in the viewpoint of um, Frederick Douglass and uh, Lincoln Cottage to further enhance um, the Lincoln viewpoint. We started off thinking that it was going to be primarily of interest to DC teachers, but we realized when we opened it up to teachers from around the country that really DC, because Washington, because of its role as the nation's capital, and also because it really is a crucible. In, in the story, telling the story of the Civil War, had a broader appeal. Um, and so we've gotten very excited about the work that we do as a collaborative. And really, because now we work so closely together, we're able to offer custom programs to Teaching American History grant groups that come to DC. Um, we're able to work with them to create a program that, that fits them and their needs. and it's not a one shot. It's, it's multiple, it's layered. It offers multiple perspectives on the Civil War. It offers multiple perspectives on great men and not so many women, but some women during the Civil War. Ford's Theater is clearly the big fish in many ways because people tend to go there, but they don't tend to get deep in their experience. And that's what we're hoping to get out of this. For Ford's theater, what is useful about this partnership is helping to deepen the experience at the theater so that it's not walk in, click your camera over at the box, and walk out. And I think, too, we've tried to structure the program so it's not just that we, the program we currently offer is a one-week program where you come and you go to each site, um, one site a day. But we've tried to structure it in a way, too, to build a learning community where we can interact with teachers throughout the year, help them as they're planning their lessons. Um, we've established an online site where teachers can actually post what they're doing in the classroom so other teachers in our network can see what's going on, what works well, and have a discussion board on how they're implementing these um, sources that we gave them throughout the summer in their classroom.